Hey, what's happening, guys? We're back again with another on shape drafting lesson. That's what they called it when I was in school drafting. So that's what we're going to call it here. Now, to quickly recap what we did last week, we talked about basic sketching and we took around a look around here at our three planes and we can choose to draw on any of them. We chose our top plane. Then I pressed N on the keyboard for a normal view. Then we come over here to where it says sketch. You always have to start your new drawings with a sketch. So now we have a sketch on the top plane. Then these are our drawing tools. We have a line, a box, circle, an arc, polygon, a spline, and a point. Points will become very important. So we start with a corner rectangle and we just drew a rectangle just like this. And we put in our measurements, let's say 70 by 30. Then we grabbed our circle tool. I think I did it in this order. We found the midpoints of both of our lines. See that yellow in there? The program is doing that automatically. I'm not touching anything. Simply by going to the midpoint, it will light up. You can come down here, and this is the intersection in here we can draw a circle. Okay, you with me so far? We now have drawn a rectangle and a circle, and if we look at it side on, it is only 2D. It, is, it exists in length and width. It has no height, it has no thickness. To do that, we're gonna use the extrude tool up here. We're going to extrude everything, just like that. And down here, we selected our thickness, 25 millimeters, just about one inch. See? And what about that circle, you ask? Well, why can't you see it? Well, it's still there. So let's just line up everything. I just clicked over here on this little cube that lets me adjust my views. See, I can click top, right. Whatever I want. I can also come down here and choose a nice isometric view. But I want the top view. And I'm going to come over here. And you see where our circle is? I, I really didn't need to draw that circle on the first one, but I did. So now we're going to sketch on the face of that box we just drew. We're going to draw another circle just like we did before. Just like this, we'll make it 20, 25 millimeters. And now we have a circle, a 2D circle, on top of our box. If we want to make it a 3D circle, we extrude it, we click on it, and we say how much. So now, we have our 3D rectangle with a cylinder coming out of it. And then we can just keep going. Let's go get our top view again. Let's say we wanted to uh, put a hole through the center of this circle. Well, we're going to sketch again because we always have to start with our sketch. Where are we going to sketch? On the face of that circle. And then we can draw a circle in the circle. See how it remembers where that center point is? The program always remembers center points, which is really nice. So let's make this one 12.5. Uh, so it's about half the width of that. Okay, now we want to make a hole. A hole is also an extrude, it's just a negative extrude. So we're going to extrude that center circle. See how it's sticking up? We're going to change directions. And we're going to remove material. And we'll do it like, say, 50, so it goes all the way through. Now let's make it 51. And now we have a hole right through there. And there are so many more great features this program has, but we can't just throw them all at you at once. We're going to have some issues. So right now, we just took five minutes to recap what we did last week. We drew rectangles and circles, and we extruded them in different directions. Well, now everything looks great. We're sitting here looking at this. We have beautiful corners. Well, what if we want to soften those corners? Well, up here in your menu bar is this tool here called Chamfer. We can click on chamfer and you see it, it's going to give us a one millimeter chamfer on whatever edge or face 
we decide. So see, there's just an edge. Zoom in there so you can see that nice 45 degree chamfer. Now you can come in here and you can do that on all your edges, kind of like this. And you see how we have now just chamfered all those edges. Well, you can also chamfer a face. So we'll grab our chamfer tool and you see how we selected the entire face. Now it's chamfered and we can just go around and chamfer all of our faces. Oops, except for that one. We don't want to chamfer that one because it's already done. So that's why it aired out. Ooh. Oh, see, I don't like that. Did I select the right tool? Yeah, I don't know why I did that. smaller there we go and yes you can also chamfer here and here but there are some other things you can do there as well and I want to show you them so up here we have a fillet which is basically just like a round chamfer See how it puts that nice round edge on everything? So if we get rid of all of our other chamfers, I'm right clicking over here on each of the items and then just left clicking on delete. We can come in here, grab our isometric view. We'll put a fillet on this face, on this face, on that face, on that face, on that face, and on that face. So now the entire box has been filleted. And it even made that nice transition from the surface of the box here to the top of the spear and really that's all I wanted to share with you today take what you did last week the drawing of the boxes and the extrusions and drag them out then put some fillets or some chamfers on things and you can make your part look really really nice all right guys I've received some mixed uh responses to this program series whatever you want to call it so i'm going to keep evaluating and, and see what uh kind of responses i get from you guys as to whether or not we are going to continue with the program but for now we're going to keep going i want to thank everybody who's commented and watched and uh thank you all so much for your support if you'd like to help out a little bit more Check the link down below for our patron page. A dollar a month is all we ask. Also, there's a link in the video and down below for my Amazon affiliate link. Anything you buy from Amazon, if you buy it through my link, it won't cost you any more, but you will uh, send a few pennies my way. Well, Amazon will send a few pennies my way anyway. And it really helps out the channel, guys. So thank you all so very much for watching and supporting and being part of our community. I appreciate each and every one of you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.